Hi! In this video I'll show you how to make a little handgun that works on flammable gas, like a potato gun. It can shoot two that toilet paper, plasticine, cotton swap nail darts and steel balls for airsoft guns. This device is made of junk and can shoot right through 20 sheets of paper. And now, here is a little review. My gun has a laser sight, on board fuel tank, a special button for laser and a trigger above it. This way, gas is supplied from the tank to the combustion chamber. The barrel is attached inside the combustion chamber, it makes the process of reloading as fast as possible. Also, there is a little magnet on the barrel, for preventing the steel bullet from falling out of it. Now I inject a little amount of gas into the combustion chamber. I am turning on the laser by my middle finger and pulling the trigger by my index finger. Bang! What has just happened? A potato gun is a very simple device. There is a mixture of fuel and oxidizer in the combustion chamber, which is being ignited by an electric spark, like with the engine of your car. The mixture burns out with high speed and temperature and generates pressure that forces a bullet to move through the barrel. So it was a shot. I called my gun a Barbie sized gun. Here are some specifications. Chamber volume is about 100 ml. Barrel length is 250 mm with diameter 4.5 mm or 6 mm. Muzzle velocity is up to 60 meters per second and muzzle energy for BB ball is about 0.6 joules, but it's enough to break through 20 sheets of paper. For the simplest design you need a little plastic jar of vitamins, a barrel, cold weld, a piezo and some piece of wooden board to make a handle. You can find a piezo in a button lighter, just disassemble it. A quest of searching the tube for the barrel has led me to the pet shop, where I bought this cute mouse on a stick for playing with cats. I disassembled it and gave the mouse to my cat. You're a lazy ass, man! Cut off about 20 cm of the tube to make the barrel. Its outer diameter is about 8.5 mm. So I drill a hole with 8mm diameter for better barrel fixation in a tight hole. Oops. Just insert a barrel in the combustion chamber, so that the bridge will be about 20mm away from the cap of the jar. Grind a barrel for best sticking with cold weld. So stick it to the chamber with cold weld. Oh shit, I should use wet fingers to smear cold weld, it was written in the guide. Better now! Draw a handle on a piece of wooden board, then sew it with a hacksaw and work it with a file until it's perfect. Also, I've made a cylindrical socket for the combustion chamber. Here it is. Choose a drill to make a hole for a piezo. Limit the hole's depth with tape. We need a piezo to stick up to the hole. Remove leftovers with a knife. In the back end of this channel I thrust in a clip. Also you can use a nail for it. Now we can test a sparkle. Shove some foil for better electrical contact. Protect a piezo with tape and fill gaps with hot glue. Be careful, it can damage a piezo. Mark and make holes for electrodes in the combustion chamber. Then grind it for better sticking. A spark test again. It works! Oh, assemble a lighter without a piezo, so it will be a source of gas. Basic design of this gun is ready to shoot. 
Remember that for shooting you need to inject a certain amount of gas into the combustion chamber. Less or more gas will make your shot weaker or just impossible. Let's shoot some targets. To prevent the cap from blowing out and punching you into your face, just pull it around with cable tie and fix it with hot glue. Now we need to seal the cap. Cut off plastic skirting and stick some piece of rubber to the cap. The gun needs a sight. I made front sight of clip and stuck it right to the barrel and the rear side is made of cable ties. Also, I strengthened the chamber's mount with some cable ties. To inject gas you need a venous catheter. Slightly bend a catheter's needle and jab it into the combustion chamber, then fix it with hot glue. I put the free end of pipe on the lighter's nozzle and stick the lighter to the handle with hot glue. Also, I wanna make laser sight, so I disassemble this cheap laser pointer and make a groove to reach button's electrical contacts. Like this. Solder some wires to them and fill groove with glue. It works. Attach a laser pointer to the barrel with cable ties and tune it like this. I can see a red dot through the barrel. Time for glue. This button is for laser sight, but SMD tactile button is better. Drill a hole for a button, supply a wire and solder it. Put a button into its place and fill gaps with hot glue. I decided to make an interior barrel to shoot with BB airsoft balls. The balloon stick is the best barrel for 4.5 mm BB balls, and the stick fits perfectly in the old barrel. To prevent a steel ball from falling out of the barrel, I extracted a tiny magnet from the old CD-ROM, fix it to the barrel with tape and shrinking tube. Extend the edge of a balloon stick to fix it into the external barrel. To make a clip for bullets, I just glue a magnet to the combustion chamber. Darts. To craft them, you need a cotton swabs, nails and super glue. Cut a swab, cut a nail, smear it with super glue and insert this into a cotton swab. That's it. And now your Barbie size gun is ready to shoot. So here are some crazy tests. So, I'm done. Stay tuned on Alex Gavir Show channel for another cool projects. Goodbye.